While there has been a steady stream of people all day, the crowds have not been overwhelming, and a small battery of police officers has made sure things are running smoothly through a normally congested part of town. So organized, just like it, she had organized it. Organized was the word on the lips of everyone who came to pay their final respects to former First Lady Barbara Bush. Very smooth going, I no trouble. Before saying their final goodbyes, long lines of pearl necklaces in the color blue filed into the parking lot of Second Baptist Church. These are the Barbara Bush pearls that my grandma and I wore. Each person went through a security screening. You had like a little debriefing inside a room, what to expect. Respect no photos, put your, put your phones away. Then 50 people at a time were loaded onto metro buses and shuttled to St. Martin's Church to say their goodbyes to America's grandmother. It's very nice and it's exciting, I guess, in a strange sense to be here because this is part of history. However, once you enter the church, it's humbling. Conversation helped the lines move faster. Everybody was talking to people they didn't know. Everybody lo made a lot of new friends today. Got to meet an interesting gentleman that I think uh, we're going to be friends for a lifetime. <laughs> Outside, officers from several agencies kept the roads clear and patrolled parking lots as streams of buses carried hundreds of mourners between the churches, a Herculean effort many say would have made Mrs. Bush proud. And I think all the people that came out here today were in a kind of a mood about, well, let's kind of like be like Barbara Bush. While there is still time to come down and see Mrs. Bush in her state of repose, it does bear repeating that you are not going to be allowed to drive to St. Martin's Church. If you are going to come down here, you must first come to Second Baptist Church. Reporting live, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.